hello guys welcome back to the channel so we are here in marvelous designer and we have completed this uh, jacket a little jacket for this cami character that i was creating so let's take this into the brush and uh, see how we can make this skirt table and uh, start detailing that so to do that let's just select everything if you have not quadrangulated it it's a good time to do so right click and quadrangulate since i have already done it so i'll just go into file export and obj select it and i'll save it you'll get a dialog box something like this make sure you have single object selected weld thin these three options selected and uh, that's all you don't have to set your avatar selected that's fine we, we just want the clothes so hit okay and it'll send so now let's move into zbrush and see how we can import it so we are here in zbrush and this is the character the cami character from street fighter that i am sculpting and for her we created a simple jacket which will import so first select the star and import on it browse through where you have exported the jacket obj and here we have it if you press shift f you will see that everything is quadrangulated and uh, it's all nice but the problem is they all are in one polygroup we want to subdivide or we want to divide in to multiple polygroups so to do that go to polygroup and hit auto group uvs so it will divide your uh, object or mesh jacket in this case into the uh, pattern that we produced now we have this all we want to do is go to the cami character append that same jacket it will come right in place since we did not have this uh, um, upper body in uh, marvelous designer so we just had the body that's why the intersection is happening all we have to do is just push it up fix it if you won't see what's going on the back face is not visible go to the display properties and hit double you will see the jacket which will disable it later on so once you fix the intersection or the basic shape of the jacket all we have to do is shell this one or you can say we have to give it some depth let's give him some give her some depth first i would just want to detach the parts which i don't want to be in this jacket i want them as a separate sub tool i'll do that i want that the belt to have a separate sub tool so what i'll do i'll just unhide them using control shift and clicking on them and i'll go into split and split it it'll split this into pieces that's all the piece that i want for the jacket now all we have to do before detailing it or doing any sculpt is to go there and once again we can uh, unhide the double turn off the double sorry and we can go to geometry modify to uh, edge loops and here in panel loops give 3 3 is enough for uh, the, the loop that happen in between so give everything zero and elevation to negative zero we don't want any bevel, uh, bevel we don't want any polish to happen and we can just hit pan loops we'll see the thickness since it's going to be a 3d printable object so i want it to pretty to want it to be pretty thick this is a very thin i can just increase it a little bit and you can just hit this this is good good enough uh If this seems a little too thick, I can just go ahead and undo it, and maybe 0.025 is a good value. Then a loop, that's fine. I can smooth it later on. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much the workflow for it. And now we can just hit Ctrl D, subdivide it. So 
one thing I would like to explain here is when we did polygroup with UVs, it automatically uh, detected our seams. And when we press Ctrl D, it'll add those seams realistically and we don't have to do anything about them. We can go ahead and emphasize it a little bit. We can make it more intense, but that's fine. That's up to you, the detail you want. Whatever you want to give, you can give. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing with the belt as well. I'll just give the belt some depth by going to the panel loops, giving three and 0.025 panel loops. Let's see, that's good enough. Or maybe a little bit more since it's gonna be a single object hanging. 0.3 is fine. 0.03 and that's fine cool you got it and divide the belt if you want for now it's okay i'll detail it and i'll see you in the end so before starting that i would like to let you know that i have created these two cores with all the details and everything step by step if you want to learn more you can visit the link is in the description